Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about all the things that we've purchased for Cusco so far and how we use each one of them. Okay, so if you've seen my last video, you probably already have a little bit of a background regarding the dog that I just got two weeks ago. His name is Cusco. So this video is mainly going to be about things that I think have been very useful so far. I'm going to show every single thing that we've gotten for him so far, but I'm going to mention if I think it's actually useful or if it's something that you can probably pass on when you first get a pet. Hi Cusco, what are you doing there? Okay, so one of the first things that we got for him, which is very essential, are his walking accessories. Cusco, go over there. Cusco, no. No, it was just for a little bit, okay? You can be here, then you're gonna get used to it. Okay? Say bye. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so I just took Cusco. Cusco, you're here again. Cusco, go over there. So I just took Cusco out into the living room. I just don't want him to get used to coming into this area of the apartment because it's mainly our bedroom area. I just want to have boundaries with him when it comes to where he's gonna be staying for most of the day. <sighs> it's so tired. Okay, so like I was saying, we got him this little harness. I really like the color. It's just like a standard petroleum green. Goose go! So I put him in his crate for now, just so that I, until I'm done filming. Now, I don't know if it was a very good idea to bring him in here, just to show him in the video, because I'm filming in my bedroom area, and he usually doesn't cross the line between the bedroom and the living room when we're here in the house. But maybe I confused him a little bit because I did bring him in on my own. <sighs> you know you're out of shape when you get out of breath, just by taking your dog back and forth twice okay anyways so this is the harness that we got for him I think you should really consider getting this instead of the standard color because it protects them much better with the color that we got for him he got out of it on the first day that we took him out for a walk mainly because on the first day he was very resistant to walking he was so scared that he didn't even want to walk so when we tried to pull him, the collar just came off. Thank God he didn't really run away or anything. I got him pretty quickly, but it could have been very, very bad if you were on the street and your dog just gets out of the leash. This bar goes on the top of the doggy, and then this bar on the bottom goes on his chest. So then you secure it in the back area. And then he's pretty much being held from this area right here. Not so much from the neck itself which I think is much better. Then we got him a standard leash. We got all of this at Petco because we needed to get it before picking him up. I didn't wanna just get him without having anything on hand and this was for sure like the main things that he needed. Another essential thing is this little trash um, accessory thing. You can certainly just have the trash um, rolls that it comes with, which looks something like this. It's just a roll of small trash bags. But I actually think the whole thing is very helpful. It also comes with a strap, so you can just have it together with the leash. That way you don't lose it, and it's always ready for you when you're about to take a walk with your dog. Another thing that I think is very essential is just some treats. And the first one was a pepperoni style dog treats. He really likes it. And you definitely need treats to train your dog. That's the first thing that they will respond to when it comes to listening to you and paying attention to something that you're commanding. So any kind of treats would probably be good. I just thought pepperoni would probably be better since I personally like pepperoni a lot. So I would assume a dog would like it even more. And then we got a bigger treat bag, which is the same thing, pepperoni style dog treats. Um, this is a chicken recipe. The one before was a beef recipe. Again, we got this also from Petco, um, but I'm pretty sure you can buy this at most places. Walmart has a dog section, Target. You can also buy it at Amazon. Just a lot of options for you out there. The way these treats look are like this, kind of like a cheese string but much skinnier. You don't want to give him the entire thing because I think it's just way too big and also you'll run out pretty quickly. So what we've been doing is just cutting them into small pieces. So they look something like this. 
So after watching all the videos that we've been watching about dog training, it seems like the main factor about your dog listening to you is being constant. So just repetition is the key to a successful training. The other couple of things that I think are extremely important is just having a couple of toys for your dog. It really will depend on what he likes. Some dogs really like things that make sounds, things that they can pull from, things that they can chew on. There's a lot of options out there, definitely. And since we didn't meet Gusco before we bought him some of this stuff, we just bought what we thought would be a very basic first time toy. So this is the first toy that we got for him. It's small enough where we thought he would still be able to grab it. And it has all the things that a dog wants, which is like a squeaky toy inside. And then the tail makes a little bit of sound, kind of like plastic. And the arms have like a string material so that he can grab onto it. He actually likes it. We have him always sleep with it so that he's used to this. And it's kind of like a comfort toy that he can have whenever we're out. And we play with it as well. Like we make sounds, we throw it, and he goes, picks it up. He doesn't tug at it like some dogs that I've seen on these videos. They like to tug at things. I don't think he likes it as much or he does it but it's not as much as I think other dogs would like my mom's dog he really liked to tug at things and he liked playing in that way so again all dogs are different so I would say get a basic toy at first if you haven't seen your dog yet but then kind of really understand what he prefers doing so some other things that we got for him are mainly for cleanliness so Gusco definitely smelled when we first pick him up I think for sure they didn't really bathe him as often as they should have and he was kept mainly in the backyard or the patio area of the house so he had a very strong odor of being another with other dogs and not having been bathed for a while so we got him a shampoo which is shed control shampoo and then the ingredients are green tea and awapuhi i don't really know what that means but i just thought it smelled pretty good so i got it for him and then the next thing that we got is the conditioner it's from the same line so we just decided to get both of them together they're not the cheapest thing but i like it so far I, especially the conditioner it really helps with the coating and it smells pretty good so he definitely smelled very good at the end of his bath I have googled a little bit about it and there's a lot of different opinions about how often to bathe your dog but the ones that I've seen more like average in several blogs is at least once per month so we're planning on doing that we're gonna put it on our agenda or on our calendar so that we can remind ourselves when we should bathe him he's already starting not to smell from his fur but his teeth does smell so we're also planning on buying him something for that area of his mouth like something that he can chew on so that it helps also with the breath so the other thing we purchased was this comb for him we saw a lot of different options at Petco, but this particular one said that it would be best for medium length fur. And it's been working pretty well so far. We try to brush him every couple of days so that his hair doesn't get matted. And definitely recommend doing that with your own pet. If he has very short hair, then it's probably not necessary to do it every couple of days or maybe even at all. Maybe you can just get one of those brushes with the bristles so you can just, you know, help with the shininess of the fur. But for dogs like Cusco that do have longer hair or fur, then you should get something like this and you do have to brush your dog at least every couple of days the longer it is the more maintenance you will need don't let your dog's fur get all out of control or it's gonna be very painful for him when it comes to bathing him and brushing his fur later on which reminds me of another youtube channel that we've been enjoying a lot so far i think it's called my favorite groomer or the best groomer i'm gonna put all the links for the products and the videos that i'm mentioning on the description of the video below so make sure that you check that so to get more information i already mentioned this in a different video if you're interested in watching that video the link is going to be over here in that video i mentioned that last week when we left Cusco alone in the house he made quite a bit of a mess and again we're not sure if that's because he just needs to chew on things right now a lot or if he's anxious that we're gone but we got him this calming vitamin treats so that he can be less anxious if that is the case. 
All of the ingredients seem to be very natural and organic and it's just to help him calm a little bit if that is the case with him right now where he's just not happy being alone in the apartment. Again, we're not quite sure if that's the reason why he did that that day or he was just simply bored or something else, but we're just trying to give him anything he might need. Other things that we got for him that are very useful is definitely his crate. He actually likes to be in the crate quite a lot, so we're thinking that when he lived in the previous house with his previous owners, he was kept in a crate for quite a bit of time. So I think now he still goes in there whenever he doesn't feel too sure or he's just more comfortable in that little area. Even when we leave the door open during the day, sometimes he just goes in there when he wants to chew on something a little bit more privately perhaps or when he thinks that we're upset at him for some reason. Let's say he's been chewing at some shoes and we kind of say no, he gets a little bit scared so that's where he will go. So it definitely brings up some sort of comfort to him even now. We also got him a bed. This one was bought at Amazon and the crate as well. That also was bought at Amazon. Now the crate has been something that he's enjoyed a lot. The bed, I would say not as much. I don't know if it's because of all the fur that he has, but I think he definitely prefers to be in bare surfaces, kind of like bare floor in the kitchen or like his crate, which has a very smooth area. Most of our apartment has carpet. However, it's that sort of carpet that's very flat to the surface. So I don't think he minds that as much, but even we've noticed that in our apartment, we have an area where we keep a big desk with a home computer and we put a piece of plastic on the bottom so that the chair that we use for that desk can roll easily. Since we have carpet in the apartment, a chair like that with the wheels on, they don't really roll as easily. So that plastic helps with that. And Cusco really enjoys being on top of that area. And we think it might be because of the temperature. Maybe he's, he's very, has a lot of fur. He does get warm or hot quite a bit. So then that probably helps with that temperature problem. Like we're not sure because obviously he can tell us but all we can do is just watch his behavior and see what he enjoys and he doesn't. He still uses the bed but definitely not as much. I think my mom's dogs, she has two chihuahuas, they would definitely love the bed that we got for Cusco. They really like being in very warm areas where they can just like snuggle under a blanket like my mom's chihuahuas they love being under the blanket so i think they definitely would have enjoyed that bed Cusco, mm, not as much he uses it maybe 20 25 percent of the time only i was actually thinking of returning the bed since he doesn't use it as much but to be honest i think it's still useful even though he doesn't use it as much i like how it looks and it doesn't really take as much room in the apartment. Another thing we got for him on his first day were wee wee pads. He's never used the wee wee pads except for the one that he destroyed on the first day. Thankfully he's house trained. I don't know if it's an instinct thing where he doesn't want to pee and poop where he sleeps and eats, but he hasn't pee or poop in the house besides that one time that we left him alone for the whole day. Besides that, he's never done that. He always waits until we walk him to do that, which is great, but we bought the wee wee pads mainly for no reason, but I mean, what can you do? We'll probably end up donating the ones that we have because there's really no reason for us to keep it any longer. He doesn't really need them and he's house trained at this point. Another thing that we got for him on the toy category is this pool wheel sort of toy. So again, dogs are all different. I think he plays with this enough. It's just not as much as other things he likes. I think he definitely likes chewing. So we probably get him more things that he chews on. Um, if you play with him with this, he'll definitely play around. But he lets go of things like this very easily. You don't have to tell him many times to let go so that he can let it go, which is a good sign. But I think he's probably more into chewing than pulling. So because of his chewing problem, we got him this little plastic bone, which has a lot of different textures on it so that he can chew on it. And he actually likes to do it quite a lot. So we leave it with him during the day. He doesn't overdo it, which is good. I'm pretty sure it's not good for him to be chewing all day long. So I like this. I think it's a good thing to have, especially if you have a young dog or if you're getting a young dog for the first time. Something else that we got for him that I had never personally heard about is this little thing called a Kong. It's kind of like a work for your treat type of toy if you could call it that. So at first it comes with some sort of food inside so the dog has to 
work at it so instead of just feeding your dog in his plate you will put it in here maybe put some peanut butter on the surface so that he can be attracted as to what's inside and then he'll just have to play with it and work at it to get the food from inside like I mentioned, we go to work for a long part of the day, so he needs to keep things that distract him. So this has been very useful. I think he does get bored after maybe an hour or so, but it keeps him entertained for long enough. Plus, he's getting fed. Another thing that we got for him that's extremely essential is his food bowl and his water bowl. And we happen to find one that actually matches the furniture in our apartment, which is a bonus. It's a light wood box that comes with two bowls, which are removable so that you can wash them. I really like them and there's been no problem with them so far. Okay, now things that are definitely not essential for him but that we still bought is something like this. It's just a little Christmas sweater that I got for him. Right now it's almost Christmas, so I wanted to dress him up just for a quick picture. He looks super cute and he doesn't complain about it. I don't really keep him in this for too long. I just put him in it maybe for 10, 15 minutes at the most. On the first day I took a couple of pictures. He looks super cute and super sweet. And then after that, I took it off right away. He's a great dog when it comes to that. He doesn't complain. He doesn't seem like he's being bothered by it. But I still don't want to keep him in something like this for way too long. He already has enough fur to keep himself warm. So I'm pretty sure he wouldn't enjoy being in this for that long. But, you know, I just couldn't resist buying him something cute like this. Another thing that we got him is this Christmas cookie. We're going to give it to him on Christmas Day so that he can also have something to open on that day. Now, the last thing that we got for him that I was quite skeptical about in the beginning was the furbo camera. Now the furbo camera might not be for everyone. You don't really need it and need it if you're gonna keep him in a very secluded area where you're not afraid of him doing anything bad to things but we got the furbo because we wanted to observe him and mainly because we're gonna keep him inside the house so we wanted to see what his behavior was gonna be like, if he was gonna be okay, if he was gonna cry. We wanted to see all of that sort of things which has been great because now we're able to observe what he does during the day and try to fix some of the things that we don't like that he does when we're away. With the training part, it helps a lot because we can see everything live as it happens. And I have more details on my past video, which again is gonna be linked on the description below as well as here. When it comes to training him as to how, what he does when you're not in the house, the Furbo camera is very helpful. If he does things that you don't like when you leave, then just keep looking at the camera, don't go too far from the door. And when you notice that he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing, just walk in put him on a timeout for about two minutes, then let him go. Do it on a day that maybe you have more time so that you can do it over and over again until he gets the message. With Cusco, it took about 10 times. So it's probably not something that you're gonna be able to do like right before you go to work because you do need quite a bit of time to do it. You don't know how long he's gonna be on a good behavior or how long he's gonna wait until you leave to start doing things that he's not supposed to do. So you need maybe like a weekend, take three hours off to see what he's gonna be doing. The other awesome thing about the furbo is that you can talk to your dog. I don't think this feature has worked with Cusco as much. We have talked through the furbo camera but I don't think he listens to it. I think he might be too smart and knows that that's not really us so he doesn't pay attention. The furbo camera also gives treats when you press on the app on your phone or your tablet. Now Cusco's favorite treats are these so far. I mean this is the only brand we've got so far but he really likes these so we use them for training. The thing is that from what we read these kind of treats are probably not the best for the furbo because they are not hard type of treats. They're more of the mushy type of treats. I mean, they're not when you have them in this kind of packaging, but if you keep them in the Furbo, the Furbo camera does warm up a little bit because it's plugged into something and it is constantly working. So the food might get stuck inside the camera and I don't think we want that. So we haven't tried to put any of this so far. I mean, we did on the first day, but we used them all within like less than an hour. We also put some of his regular dry food in there however i don't think he enjoys that food that much so he doesn't really pay attention to that kind of treat another 
thing that I forgot to mention is the kind of dry food that we got for him. So in the mornings we always give him dry food for breakfast and the food that we're giving him right now was bought at Petco. It's like the beef veggie kind and I think he likes it enough. He eats it when he's hungry enough and it's not as expensive as other brands. When we went to Petco there were some that were not that large and they were almost $48. This one was $24.99 I believe. So definitely something that you could get that the, your pet is probably gonna enjoy enough. However, in the evenings we give him homemade food. It's not leftovers, it's food that we made especially for him which we keep in a container for about five to six days. My fiance made this food, it's just rice, ground turkey, veggies and that's pretty much it. He really likes that food quite a bit so I warm it up as soon as I get home at 6 that way when we walk him around 9 to 10 he'll be able to go poop. Something else that we've been using for him whenever we take him out mainly because it's been raining here in LA quite a bit is this microfiber cleaning cloth. When we come into the apartment after his walk we'll just wipe his paws and the belly part so that the moisture doesn't stick to the carpet. He's really good at that, like we just hold him in this position and then we clean his paws and everything and he stays in that position for quite a while until we're done. So I think he kind of now is getting into a routine that that's something that we just have to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys are interested in any more videos like this or any other topic, just leave your comments on the comments below. And like I mentioned, any of the links of products that I've been talking about or videos is gonna be all linked on the description of the video below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Cusco. Bye.